How you doing today guys? Uh, today on Tugs Garage, I'm going to be getting the wiring done on the wheel horse. Sorry, I forgot to hit record on the camera. I uh, already took the steering wheel off. It was pretty easy. It was a 9 16th bolt, held it in the center. And I used the pry bar. It popped right off. Somebody previously oiled it up pretty good. And had a, had a flat washer on there. And this rubber bushing. And it also had a woodruff key. All that's right there. So what we're going to do today is do the wiring. I'm going to take this console off to make it easier to get to everything. Go and re rewire everything, all new wire. And then uh, we got to put the solenoid in here. I know on the other video I talked about. Here, let me bring you over here. So yeah, I'm going to, we'll get rid of this. That's the starter button. That's coming out. I'm going to put an extra, uh, normally open, uh, momentary push button on there for the starter. And then I'm still going to have this, but I'm going to still go to a solenoid instead of running, running that voltage up through there. And this old switch, this old switch will, uh, I don't know how much longer it lasts. And I don't I figure I'll do it now. Get the generator light hook back up. Uh, verify if this light switch works. If not, we'll see if we can get it working. But I have the original key to that up here. And if that key switch don't work, then we'll go to a more modern key switch but yeah all that does is power it up basically it'll give the power to the solenoid and when you push the button so so what will happen is your 12 volts will come to the one side of the key switch you turn the key on that 12 volts will pass through come up here to the starter button and then, you, and then when you hit the start button, it's going to pull in the solenoid. You got a solenoid right here. And the solenoid, I think I might mount that solenoid uh, right there. Somewhere up in there. And... So yeah, that uh, solenoid, then once you hit that start button, the solenoid will kick in, close, then the 12 volts from the battery will go down to the armature side of the starter generator, then turn start, and then the ignition side will stay hot, but um, yeah, I just wanted to bring you along and show you what was going on. I'm sorry I didn't show you me tearing the steering wheel off, but... Stick around, we got this wiring going on today. I'll bring you in a little closer. So yeah, so now we're gonna take the console off. Yeah, those bolts underneath to hold the console on are three eighths. We'll get that out of there. The levers or the choke and the throttle will stay, they're mounted to the base. So they'll stay there. All I have to do is pull the pull the knobs off. But yeah, these are three eighths that's up under here. I 
probably why I got this off. Clean it up and paint it. But I'll probably bring you along for that. That's just paint. That's boring. Unless you want to. I gotta find the color I actually want to go with. So, if I'm correct here, this should come right off of there. Gonna hook the So there we go. So, yep. Console is free. I'll go over and set this on the bench now. Grab and bring it over here. Okay guys. Sorry about that. My camera shut off, but uh here's the schematics, the wiring diagram. If you wanna I'll get try to give you a better look at it. If you wanna get a screenshot. But this is a uh manual I got off of I think it's red square but yeah manual that's 1054 it's got the exploded view of the whole tractor and it's got the uh, wiring diagram in there and that's what we're kind of going to go off of today but if you missed it so far I've taken the uh, taken the starter switch push button out taking that out just got two Phillips heads with nylocks on the back uh, and then had to unwire this because the uh, generator light was going to it and that was 9 16 that's taken off and I was going to save this factory switch but it broke on me so yeah we're done with that so we're starting from scratch on everything So yeah, that's junk. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to save this factory light switch either. But if it works, there ain't no sense to even. My goal is to rewire this whole thing, but we'll test this. See if that switch works. Put this over to continuity. That switch works. Turns them on, shuts them off. So yeah, I think I'll just save that and not even attempt to uh, tear that switch apart. Because it's rusted up pretty good. The if you go by the factory wiring, the wires are white for the lights. Yeah, one wire comes off the switch, and the other one. So yeah, we're gonna go to the. I have a Oregon switch, part number three three dash three. Eight nine. I put a description in. I put it in the description below. But yeah, let's see. Let's see if this dude will fit in there. I'll put them keys up there. I think 
I'm going to see if I got a drill bit. We'll drill that out to that step. Drill bit that big I have a step bit though. Yeah, dude. Nope, that's the biggest thing I got. Step bit it is. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see how, what size that is. Calipers out, see what size we got to go up to. Roughly 13 16, so it was actually 805. So we need to go up to. Look at this whole step in it. Pretty easy, it's cast. Let's see. Okay, guys, we got her on back. I do a little wiggling down in there, but yeah, I had to use my uh, dermal tool and I used a cutoff wheel to clean that out. I got that hole took out, and now that fits right in there. Nice and flush. So now we can wrap this dude on there. Put this washer. Make sure we got it in there straight. Tighten that dude down. Okay. Tighten that dude down. Press it down. Press that dude.
There, that's... Yep, see? It's all in there. <laughs>